Hey, what's up guys? My name's Sam from Server Pro, and today I'm going to walk you through installing the PvP Control Anti-Combat Login plugin for your server. So, as with most plugin tutorials, we first need to install the plugin. So, from your server dashboard, go to your plugin section. At the top here, we're going to want to click Spigot, and then just type into the search box, Combat Log. It's probably the easiest way to find this. Then choose the third option and click Install Latest. Finally, we're going to restart our server and like always, we'll go to our Install tab to check the plugin is installed properly. So, of all the Combat Log plugins that I've tested out, this seems to be the best one I can find. This plugin has a huge amount of features and everything is highly customizable. Everything ranging from support for multiple languages, how long PvP should be turned off for, and whether you want to block any commands or any potions during PvP. And to make this plugin even simpler, there's only two commands, slash PvP and slash PvPC. We'll get into these later. And what's more helpful than just two commands? A whole list of permissions which you can add to your server. And just for reference, everything I've just spoken about is on their Spigot page, which will be linked in the description below. So you're probably asking yourself, how does this plugin actually work? The general idea is the same as most other combat log plugins. You hit a user, which enters you into combat. While in combat, you're limited to what you can do. And the main feature? If you log out while you're in combat, you die and lose all your stuff. So as you can see, by default, the plugin is ready to use. I logged out during combat, it killed me, and broadcast this to the server. It also told the user I was fighting that they were safe, which allows them to log out with no fear of dying. So earlier we spoke about commands. Slash PvP, while you're an op on the server, will turn PvP on and off. However, if you're not an op, it's a useful tool to tell you how long you have left before you're safe to log out. As you can see, I'm not in PvP, so it says I can log out. The only other command is slash PvPC space reload, which simply reloads the plugin from in-game. So for this next bit, I'm going to run you through this live instead of doing a script for it like I have done for my previous parts of this video we're just going to run through the config really quickly so here we can change the language of the plugin from the pvp section here you can change how long it is in seconds that pvp mode has been enabled when you get hit you can turn off fly on pvp so if you're hit and you're flying you'll stop flying disable invisibility on pvp pretty straightforward block all commands on pvp again pretty straightforward any kinds of teleport, that includes ender pearls, TP and TPA. Blocks the chorus foot on teleport, which is, is quite useful when you have a chorus foot. It stops you from just randomly teleporting around. Uh, it blocks ender pearls as well. That sort of ties in with the teleport option. Uh, and kill when log out. That's a pretty big one, considering that most combat logs like you to kill you when they log out. And you could also turn off the broadcasting. Uh, if a player logs out and they die, you can choose whether you want that to announce that to the server to let people know. So this one ties in with the Essentials plugin slightly. This will disable the Essentials God mode on hit. So if you hit someone who's in God mode, if you have this set to true, it will disable God mode for them. So what you can do here is you can block only selected commands on PvP. So by default, you've got TPA, TPA, yes, yes, accept, deny, deny, TP, and teleport. And for the performance, it just it's how frequently the plugin checks to see if a person's in combat. At default, it's set to 5. It's not something I'd mess around with, and I'd kind of leave it at that. This is the sort of stuff you want to be editing up here. So, I really hope this video helped you get to grips with the PvP Control Combat Log plugin. However, should you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to contact our support team, and I'll see you in the next video.